Hey YouTube, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a birthday, simple birthday card. I want it to be a special day for my friend. It's her birthday, so I'm going to be giving, making her, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my, I'm a little sick. I'm going to be making her a uh, card. So what you basically need is any kind of paper. Scrapbook paper is what I have with me, so I'm going to use that. It's really pretty paper, so it has actually, I got this from CVS for three bucks, not too much, so... And it comes with a variety. It comes with at least like 12 pattern papers. And it's like the scrapbook um, paper is 12 by 12 inches. This is 12 right here and this is 12 right here. Um, so um, there's like all these varieties. And what I'm going to be using, the back is much better. I'm going to be using um, these flower ones. I'm actually taking this from my laptop. So I'm not sure about the lighting or anything. But I'm pretty sure the laptop works really good. Anyways, um, this video, I'm sorry. So I'm going to be taking this flower one. I'm going to be using it. So flower paper, 12 by 12 inches. Normal white from the back. So I don't like the back that much. So basic, what you need for this video is um, a paper cutter. You can use the most of but this is more straight. I bought this also at CVS. Not too expensive either. It's just normal. It also... It's really cool. It has a, a ruler that pops out. Let me just see how you do that. It pops out like that. Like that. It's really cool. It's, and it has measurements and rulers. And this itself has many grids, as you can see on it. And this is a ruler as well. And you can just normally cut. So I really like this. And it was just for um, two bucks. It's not expensive at all. I, I was actually a big thing because CVS is a little expensive. Okay, so you need stencil if you're not too good. This just has normal letters on it. You need a computer where you can print happy birthday signs out. But I'm just going to show you the beginning and how to cut the invitation card perfectly. And what you also need is some of these papers, just in case. This is one of those papers I use. This, this part is cut off here because I use this for my other project. But I'm going to use the back so when I'm gluing it doesn't get sticking. If you just need, get a greenish kind of color paper. Normal. And um, these are some cool pattern scissors. This has a tooth that is, um, uh, you see this right here? It comes out like that. I'm not really sure if you can see the blade, but it's really cool. Um, so well, these are the scissors that I got from my Art Create box. It has a lot of different kind of tools and scissors, so it's really cool. So you look at that while um, you need some glue, tape, anything you want to use particularly. So let's get started. First, obviously, you have to determine if you want the card to be small or if you want the card to be big. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to fold it, line it up from both sides, like that. With my nail, I'm going to do it. I'm going to hold it with my hand right here, like that. And I'm going to do that and just go straight across. Straight across. So there it's straight paper. Perfect. So I'm going to make actually, I'm thinking actually, why don't I just make two cards out of this? Too many cards. Because actually it's my mom's birthday and my friend's birthday. So I'm going to cut it into half. You can align it up before. I'm going to just do that. Just go across and at that dent point you can cut it right there. This one we need this one. So now you have your two cards that you're gonna be working with. If you don't want to do it this way, see it's nice and white, you can do a little picture in there. I'm actually a really good sketcher and a nice painter and a drawer as well, so I can just make a little um, bear 
and uh, write my greeting over here. Now with the stencil, what you need to do is basically take the stencil, I'm going to show you it right now, and align it up. Do it with pencil first. The H is right here. I'm going to do A and then happy birthday. Do it with pencil and then at the end go back and color it in because you want it to be nice and straight. You can put an image. You can put some stickers. You can put some color stuff. And it's really nice. I'm going to go get one of my other blue cards. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I made this one for my dad. I'm sorry about the tape all around it, but my dad was hanging it up on his birthday. Night. So I made this, and it says "Happy Birthday." These, this is a different kind of scrap paper. The circles behind where it came with it, see the circles, um, and uh, "Happy Birthday" is written on it. And these hearts, I attached. I'm sorry, I actually attached the these hearts right here. Um, it's really pretty, and then I wrote my greeting inside, and I made this little balloon thing. My greeting is written in marker, black marker, you can't really see it, so I'm pretty sure you can't really see. It says, Dear Dad, and all that stuff. And I really like this, and I have this birthday bash sticker that I put it on, too. It's really nice. There you go. So basically, this card, I, what I actually did is I folded it this way. Um, from the inside and from the outside, it's both like that. For this one, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not really going to care that much, and I'm just going to, um, she's, I'm just going to make a nice little drawing in there and uh, write my greeting, write happy birthday for my mom and my sister. I mean, um, <clears throat> my friend, but she's like my sister, so. Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to put, like, all the things that I'm going to say. Because I don't want to bore you guys, but you guys get the point. You know, happy birthday, friend, sister, greeting. Always write the greeting on the right side if you want or on the left. It doesn't really matter. I mean, people usually do it over here. I mean, I've seen it in cards. You open it. They're like, oh, the greeting's over here and everything else is on this side. Uh, the picture. And on the back, you can just leave it. Oh, look, my nails look nice. <laughs> okay, and on the back, you can uh, just leave it like that's the symbol of the card. You can put the little hearts that I had if you want. But I'm not going to be putting the hearts on this because it has flowers and it won't look nice at all. Here, it's coming in the way. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then the flowers won't really look nice. Flowers don't go with hearts. I don't really do that stuff. I only do one mother flowers or other hearts. Mm. So basically, you guys get the point. Um, hope you like this video. If you want, um, I can make you guys another video on actually how to do it, how to um, get your pictures nice and ready. And um, I can do some on my drawings if you guys want. I can do some. I can actually do more of nails, but because I'm good with nails, I can do nail designs, I can do flowers and all that, uh, if you have seen any of my other videos, so please guys, um, rate, comment, see if you guys want anything else, I don't really know, so I was like, oh, let me just make a short video on this, um, um, but please guys, viewers, and everybody, just, yeah, please like my video, comment, subscribe, um, this is sgiggles36, I'm going to say it once more, S Giggles 36 I know it's a weird name, but um, it was when I was small. I made this YouTube account because I wanted to watch the show when I was too small. So I don't, I don't know really, but yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay.